Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This is going to be pretty much a vlog for the month of July. I know it's a little late. <laughs> uh, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything in one place. I'll talk more about them at the end of the video. So this video is pretty much a compilation of everything I did in July. Just a warning right now, there's a lot of beach footage. <laughs> uh, I tried to do some drawing and sketching. I actually recorded a kind of relaxing sketch at the beach. It was supposed to be like an ASMR kind of thing in real time and I realized afterwards that it was too windy and all you hear is like really loud wind noises. I was hoping my camera would pick up the the beach and the waves but uh, there was none of that so you guys are getting get some music for the background um, and I'll probably just speed it up because it's probably a little boring. I was just doodling pretty much. It wasn't like a finished piece or anything. But yeah, I just wanted to try and try and draw at the beach because we have been going a lot this summer, just trying to get out, get some fresh air away from people. And um, of course, we were being safe, socially just distancing. We only go to beaches that are pretty empty. And if we do go with friends, they're only the friends that um, I see all the time. Uh, we're all very safe and pretty much like family, so uh, we only hang out together and not with anybody else, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, always being safe. So I was just doing some sketching of the cliffs at the beach and then doodling out some ideas for more paintings and stuff like that. I'm pretty much always inspired by the ocean and it's my favorite place to draw, probably. Maybe one day when I get a better microphone camera set up, I can do a real ASMR sketch and chat at the beach. If you guys have any recommendations for mic camera setups for the beach or for like blocking out sounds, let me know. <laughs>
surfing. We went to the drive-in movie theaters one time and we saw Gremlins and the Goonies. I've also been cooking a lot of like, I don't know, this is something my parents always used to make. It's sausage, bell pepper, potato, and onions and you just roast them in the oven for like, till they're toasted. And I started eating them with rice a little bit and ketchup and I love it. <laughs> We went surfing, surfing. We went surfing. So like I said earlier, we went to the beach a lot in July. Um, I think I actually condensed this and cut some of them out, but there are is footage of like five different trips to the beach just in this video. Um, and there were more because I've been trying to take advantage of summertime lately because I really miss it when it's winter. And um, after turning 30 back in February, I realized that like all I want to do is just be near the ocean all the time. So luckily my profession and job, I am privileged enough to have a lot of time and the ability to travel. So um, yeah, I try to spend a lot of days at the beach and this month we're actually going camping a lot. So that'll be in the next vlog. But yeah, it just, it really makes me happy being outside and it helps out with my mental health because I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys before but when the pandemic started I started getting panic attacks really often um, and it's not something I ever got before so it's really weird and I realize how important it is to take care of your mental health and uh, the I'm happiest outside or skating or at the beach so there really is a lot of that kind of stuff in this <laughs> vlog I also bought a surfboard recently because I've I've taken lessons when I was in high school and I used to have a surfboard when I lived in Laguna Beach but I had to get rid of it when we moved so I got another one and I'm still a beginner like I barely know how to surf but um, I'm trying to get back into it. <laughs> My brother took us hiking one day. Uh, this was in the San Mateo Mountains. Uh, I'm doing this voiceover in late August, and I think a lot of you guys know that we're currently here in the Bay Area. We're going through a bunch of fires after this insane lightning storm came out of nowhere. We don't even get lightning, hardly ever. And these, that, this is just one random day where it was a storm, a dry storm, there was no rain, but it was just a lightning storm and it was like the loudest lightning I've heard. Stuff, the ones that I would hear in Texas, which is weird for California. And 
everything just set on fire because in the summer it's really dry here and my parents house is like right on the edge of the evacuation line for all week and they finally pulled it back so luckily um, we didn't have to worry about it but the air is filled with smoke and this park that we're actually hiking in here I think might have been burnt by now um, I did see that it was on the map for the Santa Cruz fire and uh, I'm not sure um, what happened but it's crazy that we just went hiking here and it's so pretty and now it's possibly all gone I'm sure a lot of the tall trees are fine because usually those are hundreds of years old and they've probably lived through plenty of fires so um, those are probably fine but yeah it's just crazy this year is crazy <laughs>
We've also been going out to skate a lot. I am in love with these new light up wheels on my roller skates. I think I'm gonna do a video about just roller skating uh, pretty soon because I get so many questions on where I get my stuff and like everything like that. So uh, I think it'd be fun and it's something that's really important to me lately. So. I wanted to show you guys Steven's <laughs> amazing camera work in this video. <laughs> Every time I give him my phone to record when I'm skating, he can never hold the camera still. And like sometimes it's because he's trying to like scoot on a scooter, but <laughs> honestly I've given him the camera before when he was just walking and I just can't help but laugh watching the footage afterwards. <laughs> Later on last month, we, Stephen and I were asked to paint a wooden panel for the arsenal. Uh, they just expanded their art shop in Japantown here in San Jose and they wanted us to make a little mural thing to show through the window. So Steven painted his uh, wolf and cyclops cat and I did a mermaid and we kind of used a bunch of leftover house paint that I had so the colors ended up being very, uh, they worked together really well. <laughs> So I'm really happy how it turned out. But their art shop is open now, and they are the only art supply store left in the South Bay Area, from what I know. There's a Michaels, obviously, but like they don't really carry a lot. And um, I think the next art store from here is like Oakland or Redwood City. So. Uh, if you're an artist in the Bay Area, come and check out the Arsenal because um, especially right now during the pandemic, it's important to support all the local shops and stuff like that to keep them going. So Japantown's pretty cute too. <laughs> and they're really awesome people. They're buddies of ours, so I had fun painting for them.
There was also a roll call uh, skating protest happening in San Jose, and I attended the first one. Um, it was really cool to see all the roller skaters come out, and we were talking about pretty much what kept roller skating going and a lot of the history behind it. If you didn't know, like roller skating used to be popular, and in the last how, couple decades when we thought it was dead. Um, there have been communities of black people and people of color who have kept it going and really spread the, the love for roller skating. And now it's come back in popularity, but people think it's just, it's people forget that they're the ones who kept it going. So that's kind of what we talked about a little bit and it was really cool. They skated around downtown. Sadly, I don't think I have the confidence to skate on the street yet. I was very nervous about it, so I just showed up to the meeting at the beginning and then um, watched them roll away. <laughs> Alright, so this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one website building platform. It's a place where you can make your own space on the internet, build up your portfolio, open up an online shop. They even allow you to purchase your own domain name for your website, which is super important when you're applying to jobs and like, you know, sharing your portfolio and stuff. The thing I really like about Squarespace is that they cater to artists. So they've put a lot of thought into making sure that it's very easy to use. The templates look amazing immediately, so you don't even have to worry about making it look nice. You can just import all of your photos. You can even bring them in from Instagram, so that's super helpful. You can edit them right there on the website. A lot of the templates support gallery type layouts, so it's perfect for artists. And you can have your online art shop right there in your website so it's not confusing for anybody else. It's pretty awesome. I've been using them for years now and I can't believe how much better it is than everything I've used before. <laughs> so if you want to try out Squarespace for yourself, they have a free trial. And if you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline for 10% off your first purchase. There's going to be more links and info in the description. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know there's not a whole lot of art in it. Um, I haven't been doing as much art lately. Just, just trying to take care of myself, you know. I'll draw when I'm inspired, but otherwise I'm not going to force it. I hope you guys are staying safe out there and taking care of your own mental health. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!